to stab those buggers down. They'll do their little best to take all that's rightly yours, and it's your sole duty to keep them from our shores. The place is themed to acquaint children with national service. You mean the military? Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Did you write that? No. We're gonna get to the airship. Let me see if I can get that gate open by hand. Huh. A lock. Wonder what they're hiding. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Give me a second. All yours. some money. Okay. Nice. Could you take a look at this lock? Let me have a look. Ready. at Comstock House was simple. Hard work, sure, but simple. Wringing the linen, scrubbing the floors. <laughs> Lady Comstock, she even had a kind word now and then. Almost enough to make me think I had a place in their world. <laughs> God made foolish girls so he could have something to play with. You could try forcing it open. Shocky, shocky. Who needs the power company? Some fool's alternative to electricity. Doesn't seem to work very well. heading for the dock. That will take us to Paris. Just stay close. Yes, Mr. Duet. Call me Booker. Oh, all right. Booker. Should we head to the gondola or take a look around the boardwalk? I suppose a place like this might have much we'd find useful.
Get them hot here. We got dogs for the boys, dogs for the girls, dogs for everyone in between. They're hot, red hot, hot dogs here. What do you give to a hungry little patriot? Our ice cold Colombian ice cream is a culinary marvel. Try it yourself. And when I came to Washington, there were few in Congress who saw my vision for Colombia. But it is the burden of the prophet. Do you to know why you were hired to come and get me? I imagine they were interested in meeting you. No doubt for lockpicking lessons. Why you? I never even heard of this place before I got here. Huh. I assumed Columbia was common knowledge below. Guess I got a bit behind with current events. Time's coming, she says. You ready? Move on. What are you, Mister? Some sort of. I'm a uh, independent contractor. Used to work for the Pinkertons and such. Not something you'd want gracing a resume. Pinkertons. Aren't they the ones they'd call in to settle things when the workers took to strike? Settle? Oh, that's a word for it. I found some money. Want it? silent prayer for the victims of today's brutality. interested in gardening, Mr. DeWitt? They frown on gardens in my part of town. And where is that? The part with no gardens. When I was a girl, I dreamt of standing in a room looking at a girl who was and was not so, myself. So, Mr. DeWitt, is there a woman in your life? There was. She died. How? Giving birth. Oh. You have a child? No. Runs exclusively on shock jockey. Of course it does. Where in the hell are we gonna find that? Look! Come see the future of power at the Hall of Heroes. Huh. Well, that's convenient. Gentlemen, the false shepherd is loose in the streets of our fair city. Will you suffer the shame of allowing your wives and your daughters to fall prey to his machinations? Or will you act? Act for your womenfolk. Act for your prophet. Act.
won't be a line to get in. wrong? Oh, nothing I can't fix. <gasps> oh, it's a bee. I, I hate these things. Jeez, oh, just kill it. No, it'll sting me. Elizabeth. I have a better idea. <laughs> Wait, what, what are you doing? Opening tear. Oh, shit. What is that? It's a tear. I used to open them all the time in my tower. What is a tear? It's like a, a... a window. A window to another world. Most of the time they're dull as dishwater. A different colored towel or tea instead of coffee. But sometimes... Sometimes I see something amazing. And I pull it through. There. Good God. I don't suppose you've got an airship in there? I don't think so. But there is... There... There is something. I... Oh no! Close it. I, I'm trying! Close it! I don't really understand what I just saw back there. But it sure as hell looks like a shortcut to getting us killed. But I could help. I can handle whatever comes along. Trust me. Have it your way, I suppose. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy an Eden floating in the mist by man forsworn by heaven. You unlock this? Looks easy enough. Got it. Against savage man or foreign horde, tis Comstock. They're here! Won't get Your enemies into the air. 
Hold and release to create an eruptive trap. And when we strike, we will teach Cornelius Slate a lesson. Now, I know you've all come to think of Slate as some kind of war hero. But let me be abundantly clear. I don't like this. Cornelius Slate is no hero. Open fire. Ah, he's been living down in Finkton so long that the man has gone native. <laughs> if Slate had his way, none of the bitch. <laughs> Tip there were contraband guns hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find them, but funny thing, we found some old uniforms under the floorboards from the war. <laughs> Took guesses as to why they were there, but <laughs> who's there? Your slate, right? Sir? Put the guns down! <laughs> Did you hear that, Comstock? That is the sound you have never heard. The sound of a soldier's end. Come to your hall of heroes. Prove me a liar. You ain't nothing special. Those tears of yours might come in handy next time we're in a scrape. Well, there has to be a tear around for me to use. I can't just put them out of thin air. Found some money. Catch, Mr. DeWitt. <laughs> Elizabeth? Give me a second. All yours.
Vlad makes all kinds of soldiers, but he only made one Cornelius Slate. My father followed him up San Juan Hill, through the legations in Peking, and as he put it, through hell the order was given. At today's muster, Slate asked me if I was Sergeant Monroe's daughter. I said, yes, sir, I am. Slate said, your father always wanted a son. I hope the fool has wisdom enough to recognize his good fortune. Who's that? Slate? I actually know the fella. Seems he's still got a knack for making enemies. Gondola access to the Hall of Heroes. Must be because of what's going on with that man's slate. Well, I suppose we could take those skylines above us. We just need to find a way to clear up that cargo first. This is going to be fantastic. Think that keen eye of yours could find some ammunition lying around? I sure could use it when there's trouble. It'll take some scrounging, but I'll do my best. The line's clear. Shock you can get the hell out of here. Thank 
More money. Here. Comstock, commander of the Seventh Cavalry. That man did not lead the Seventh. Hell, I don't even remember they got it. Corporal DeWitt proved his worth on the field that day. Well, I'll be. Slate? Is that you? You've always been different, haven't you, Booker? You crave no glory. Look, I see you're caught up in some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, and we'll that tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice. Die in the hands of a tin soldier, or a real one! <laughs> <laughs> Just give us the shock jockey. If you want the vigor to learn, you will give my men a soldier's death. They wait for you and wound in me and Peaky.
what the doctor ordered. I'll try to keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo, but the right materials aren't always at hand. wounded me. I can see it in your face. Tell her, Booker! Tell her how we strode that battlefield like the heroes of Sparta! I still hear the screams. This comes down. Here he is! Here's the soldier I spoke of! The kind of man Comstock pretends to be! See if I told you true! Just give me what I need. I will. After you do the same for me, come and look for me amongst the boxers. Who are the boxers? The Chinese. He means us to head to the other display. Can you hear Comstock's tin soldiers coming to silence us? But we are the true patriots. The history that does not fit in their books. With you and cry, with hatchet red, they danced amongst us.
was yellow skin and slanted eyes that did betray us with their lies until they crossed the righteous path of our prophet's holy wrath. about this. Comstock led the Colombian troops to kill him. Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye and 30 of my friends! Is there even a stone to mark that sacrifice? For this, I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. Then what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you tried to erase, what's left? Come back to the rotunda. It's almost over. What did Slate mean? What did you try to erase? Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than none, Mr. DeWitt. No matter what the outcome. Yeah. What if you woke up one day and realized you didn't like what you chose? You can unlock this? If it had a mechanical lock, maybe. It's one of those shock jockey doors. I left ten minutes alone with the inventor of that thing. Say what you want about Lady Comstock. The woman had an eye for fashion. You've seen what Comstock has done to my history. Now see how he's rewritten his own. The seed of the Prophet lay in the womb of Our Lady but for a single week. Comstock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an omission. Can't imagine that was by accident. But the child took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the Prophet's heir day and night. the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. Your 
Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I, I can't. He wants you to follow in his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get one. Can you unlock this? these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Is that? It's a tear, something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Go ahead. All right. There's more where that came from. Whenever I'd get anxious, tears have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Try that one! Turret, now! Enough, Slate. We just need the vigor to get out of Columbia. We're taking it one way or another. Slate!
Want to hold on to this? Got it. Keep your eye open for that shock jockey bigger. Prophecy, and too rare is the man who takes the stand in human guise. With his fatherland, was here the place where we revere the heroes of our city. is ransacked. There ain't no shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Look. Think you can pick this? Give me a second. Got it. who loved me, I was the most generous of souls. There was no pain I would deny them, no betrayal I would not gladly give. 
And when I had scorched the hearts of all who loved me, the prophet said, There is nothing you can do for which I will not forgive you. For God has granted me sight, and through his eyes, even you are... Slate, he's here. Won't satisfy him. Oh no. He must rush until he's turned us into ten. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier's death awaits.
not yield to Comstock and his tin soldiers. But my scout has seen him. Booker DeWitt is coming here to the hall. DeWitt. We called him the White Engine of Wounded Knee for all the grisly trophies he claimed. A man such as he might just grant us the peace we seek. Do what I can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks. what Slate said bothered you. You showed me. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, less you know about me, the better.
There you go. certain to attend to that distinction. Booker, when there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I spotted some supplies over there. What is a life compared to a fate? Look out, Patriot! Rejoice, or death has no sting. I understand how you all do what you do. These tears. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. But I always 
once wanted to come back. To what? I don't know. My family? Huh. How do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read? Well, I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? But that teacher. There's a world of difference between what we see and what is.
Elizabeth. Okay. There. When you were unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. Want to hold on to this? Hmm. There he is! So, looks like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. 
And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. Come on. Come on. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... Shepherd, we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You, Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is which side are you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join I just the Vox. Want my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him. And you shall have your ship back. Gotta find the ice back before she lights out. The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Oh, why torment yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? Who wants all those responsibilities and worry?
fire the man? Flying squad came and took him. You ain't gonna see him around no more. Always thought that the pew on Sunday went hand in hand with the desk on Monday. Science is the slow revelation of God's blueprint. After two years in the Lamb's Tower on Monument Island, he took ill with cancer of the stomach. I prayed to the prophet, and the prophet delivered unto us a miracle through his servant Fink. I do not know if I will ever get used to a husband bound in a skeleton of metal, but better a handyman than a dead one. This here is private property. You're looking for trouble because I'm more than happy to be of service. True. 
Because my eye is the prophet! You wanna know what we do to pretty little stowaways? Or maybe you don't. Hey! Just stop for a Stay minute! Away from me! Stay away! I just want to talk to you! I said stay away! Ugh. Elizabeth! Get away from just me! Just hold up for a minute! Stay away! I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such as you! No, no, no! It's her! Call it in! Call it in! No! Let me go! We got her! There's gotta be another way in. They called Slade a monster and a traitor. I know the men who died in the Hall of Heroes with Captain Slate. There is no shame to be counted in their number. The shame lies to we who assembled outside the Hall. Though we were not the ones who fell, I feel only envy for those who perished under his banner.
backbone. to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton. Should be a walk in the park. What do you say? Partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <laughs> comfortable with my company, Mr. Dewey. You are a means to an end. No more. It's like Noah's Ark. You have the lions, whose purpose is to keep order amongst the lesser creatures. Then you have the cow, the beasts of burden. Now, 
they provide meat, milk, and labor. <laughs> and then, well, there are the hyenas. Troublemakers who only serve to drive on it. up the cattle. It's done. Now, Mr. Fink's a good man. You work hard, and I know he'll reward you. Your gunsmith? Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Do you know what they're really saying? I found some money. Want it? I don't have a lot of time for all that prophecy nonsense. I tell you, belief is, is just a commodity. And old Comstock, well, he does produce. But like any tradesman, he's obliged to barter his product for the earthly ores. You see, one does not raise a barn on song alone. Oh, no, sir. Well, that's Fink Timber, a Fink Hammer, and Fink's hand to swing it. <laughs> He needs me. Got it. Lest he soil his own. A service elevator. Should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Welcome to Fink Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Are 
yours. Fake Industries is not recruiting at this time. Please come again. I think there's a lockpick over there. Truths to be so evident. My mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. in my hand, the private journal of Comstock's wife. It puts the lie to this miracle child nonsense. She loved the child. 
Charlie Knock. It seems the sainted lady would have preferred to let the seed of the prophet just dry out on the bed sheets. Gunsmith Chen Lin, wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. Need some help with this. Okay. Done. to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Man's got an ego. say to me, think, why is it that we get paid in tokens that are only good at the company store? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be damned if I let any of you poor folk get robbed at some shady establishment. You see, the Think Company store brings you Think products at a price designed specifically for the Think worker. Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You hold You'll on. You'll find to this. a variety of supplies here that should see you through your business. Cats. Much obliged. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, Miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why? So sorry, young Miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. We need a call porter here to a half what do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by that clock shop? Starting bid. 20 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes now bid 14. Will you give me 14? 10. 10 minutes bid now 10. Will you give me 9? 9. I bid 9. 9 minutes bid now 9. Will you give me 8? 9 minutes bid now 9. 8. 8 minutes bid now 8. 7 and a half. 7 and a half. Six minutes and 15 seconds. Six minutes and five. Five minutes, 50. I can do five and 50. The hyena is a trickster. They live to stir up trouble. So you beware the hyena. They will leave you with naught but the sound of their laughter.
14. 14 minutes mid. Now 14. 10. 10. ten. Now 10. 9 and 50. 9 and 50. Any lower now? 9 and 10. 9 and 10. Nine. Here it is, Booker. Chen Lin, gunsmith. Can you get this open? I've never seen a lock like this. Anti-pressure device, a spring-loaded wiper, a relocker? You'd need a battering ram to open it. Elizabeth? Seems easy enough. Ready. Look, a cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. You're the junior codebreaker. What's it say? Don't know. There should be a codebook somewhere. Huh. So we need to find the codebook? Yes. Hmm. Looks like everything's been impounded at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. for Lady Comstock, well, everybody noticed me. I hid to fainting, and I hide. I hide deep. The more they look, the deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they're invisible. Hey! 
Come back at showtime. When's showtime? Come back at showtime. Guess we should come back later. song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called False Shepherd, stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Gautama Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Some that tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. 
Where is this club? Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker will find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? Cops. Kainu probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Right, let's figure out where this good time club is. Changed your sense of that. You protected me. The job's a job. Inside and find Mr. Lin. And just call me Booker. Chen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. No. Now, the okay. first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, oh, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who has 
hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them <laughs> yet. Appreciate it. Congratulations, DeWitt! You know, when your name was first passed to me, 
wasn't quite sure you were the man for the job, <laughs> but now I can say with certainty that I was quite wrong. I'm not interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy, but do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut, <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Want to hold on to this? There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well. You're a modern woman. It's 1912. It's gonna be 2000. Something's not Look, check. 
Ken Lin, cell number nine. Hmm. Can you open this? Okay. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. It's done. Here's some cash. Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. Oh. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. Privies down here. They treat them like animals. To tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water. What have people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this. Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. It's slate. He looks. You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Lock needs picking. Seems easy enough. All yours. It's locked. I'll see what I can do. This is it. Yep, number nine. It's done. You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it. Not hyenas. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What the hell did- I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. 
place gone? It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but... It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into the stair, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? I can open that tear whenever you're ready. Got it. Give me a second. The broken clock tolls at midnight. Which clock? This looks like the one. Set it to midnight. Well, I'll be. I came to Columbia because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. Slate has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. Feel better already. Oh, God. 
no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. <laughs> how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. These men. I killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. <laughs> Their noses, they're, Why am I they're all bleeding. What was wrong with them? They remembered. Remembered what? Being dead. What is going on here, Look! As my head of security, I suspect you are one to find out how these two will impact your men and what they are doing in the basement.
job. anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look! The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin- Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Kill my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Bring Chen Lin back to me. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Sure. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Miss Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Here's some cash. Friend, what you do doesn't matter. 
a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. That way! Now! There! You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. It must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon.
People are like this because of a fink. Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. <laughs> back it up, Scal. No! No, Strange. Thief it! Back <laughs> Doctor Order. What a knife right in you. Two arms, brothers. Gotcha. That'll do. 